see Yar and Bruno last night. Bruno and Yar Bruni. had a great week. They bonded heavily, but um, Bruni I already loved I Yar. I miss my little baby. Today's Well, hello, beautiful people. It's Mama Goob. So I'm finally getting around to watching Alexandra Rodriguez's gender reveal. I'm actually pretty excited. I, I don't know what to expect. I wasn't spoiled on it. Um, I'm going to watch. You're going to get my genuine reaction. So um, before we do that, though, I just wanted to announce that I'm starting my travel channel back up, it, which is called Mama Goob in the Wild. Um, I'm going to start, hopefully it'll be up today and it'll be attached in the comment section, in the comment section, in the description below. Um, it's about a story about some passengers who showed up for a cruise and couldn't get on because they really didn't have a reservation and their travel agent went on the cruise ship, you know, for herself and left these 26 people at the dock and the to spoil it a little bit the um travel agent was part of a multi-level marketing travel agency which i've never heard of so i think it's pretty intriguing um check it out you're going to see because i'm doing some traveling soon and i'm going to post there and um, i hope you enjoy it it's much different than this channel maybe as I find salacious news stories related to travel, I might just expand on them. So we'll see. But anyways, back to the subject at hand, Alexandra Rodriguez. I'm, I'm kind of really stoked to see this. So let's take a look. Okay, so this is cute. Black and white. Does she have something on her head or is that just where she is? Um, you know, her famous square necked dress. Um, let's see, what does that say? Happy birthday. Okay, it must be somebody's birthday too. Oh, well, this is Easter, birthday, you know, gender reveal. This is a uh, multi-purpose party, so. <laughs> Welcome, guys. This is going to be such a fun vlog. I am okay. kind of fresh getting up here, so don't mind Hi, me Bruni. and my parents. I got back from vacation last night. Yara picked us up. Our plane landed, but we didn't end up getting like out and with our luggage till after four. And then by the time we brought my mom back, PM. drove home, we picked up dinner on the way. We didn't get home till, I don't know, like six or so. Oh. Um, and then I unpacked. I actually unpacked last night shocking i tell you the packing cubes they really help yes they just make um, it easier mm -hmm. use packing um, cubes i had all my things car compartmentalized it's easier to unpack though because it's mostly just like dirty, dirty clothes you know but it was really great to see yar and bruno last night bruno and yar Bruni. had a great week they bonded heavily but um bruni already loved I yar. my little baby today's a big day today is not just easter today is easter slash gender reveal with my family, slash mom's birthday. Ah. So when I was in Florida, Yar held down the fort. He went and got... Sister Goob's birthday was Easter too. Three different balloons. We've got happy birthday, bunny, and then this says boy or girl on it. Since we live like, not super far from my family, but far enough where they're all coming over today anyway for Easter, we're like, Let's just do like yeah. a big, okay. a big fun celebratory day. No, so we're going to have Easter dinner and do the gender reveal cake pops that I made. Yeah. They're so <laughs> ugly. She did it? Oh my God. I literally thought about like doing something different, but. Get a baker. I put, I put my heart okay. and soul into those cake pops. Yeah, so cute. we're just going to go along with it. I took them out of the freezer. I'm going to let them thaw, put in the little sticks in the bottom. And then we'll, I think I'm going to have like everyone go around, like take a bite and like. See who gets. Oh sh! <laughs> I'll edit that out. <laughs> Pregnancy brain is so real. I ordered these on Amazon. There's way too many. I'm gonna definitely like save these for the future. See if someone else uh, wants them. They didn't have any packs that weren't like a ton of them, but I got these on Amazon. And look how cute these little stickers are. So I want to see everyone's 
guess beforehand and put a little sticker oh, on. That's cute. But I think it's a uh, boy or girl. So that'll be fun. Mm. I think a lot of my family is like half and half on it, but sure. we'll see. I Whatever. can't really remember. So can't remember anything with the pregnancy brain. But I'm glad a lot of you guys had said, um, I posted the last part of the vacation vlog, a lot of you guys said you also had like hearing issues during no. pregnancy, but it's not like actually hearing mm -mm. rather than just pregnancy brain, like trying to process hear hearing things. And then I also Amazoned this no. adorable like set of stuff to decorate. Okay, don't ignore that. Um, go see an ear, nose, and throat specialist. Just rule out that you don't have like an ear infection. When you're pregnant, you don't want to be having infections, okay? My mom's birthday cake, Yara went and picked up this really pretty cake with like sprinkles all around it. So I'm gonna do... You didn't make the cake? This like mm. decoration kit and I'll show you guys how it looks. It's got like balloons. It's really, really cute. Amazon, God bless Amazon really. And then I also grabbed a happy Easter, hi baby. Hi, Juan. Did you meet your mom? I missed you. Um, let's see. How do I get this out? Oh, thank God. It's pretty strong. This happy Easter banner and these pastels. It's so cute. But you have a banner. And there's an Easter you have one the also. carrots. It's like bunnies. It's so cute. It's like with a wool string and I don't know if it's burlap. Fabric, Not Jesus But I think it's really risen. cute. I want to save it. So yeah. my family's actually bringing most of the food, which is so nice. Mm -hmm. Like ham, mashed potatoes broccoli casserole like a bunch of stuff i'm in charge of mac and cheese mm -hmm. um, i made and mac and cheese like mom's birthday cake the cake pops and then i'd also remember i bought all that easter candy to do like an easter candy board so per usual we've got too much dessert but that's oh. fine we've got our pretty easter plates these were from walmart i picked these up a while back we in remember. the vlog and then i got these adorable little bunnies for like the cake <clears throat> dessert plate this was also from walmart i don't know why it's got like dust on it i'll wash it but i'm gonna do my candy board on here super cute happy easter napkins oh i got some of this like edible grass to like put around the edge of the candy board i think that would look cute little bunny sea salt caramels some of these. i love those Didn't and like those my family's year. gonna have to take a bag to go because i know there's gonna be so much of this left over but nothing like a little goodie bag to take with you Got the Cadbury eggs, mm, the best. Those are my favorite. Mm -hmm. Reese's eggs. I tried to get mostly like I've small never had bags Reese's eggs. where I could, since I just want like a plethora of option. These little, these little chicken chocolates. Got classic jelly beans. Of course, you got to have Peeps. Reese's. She has to show us everything, eggs. doesn't she? That's cool. Soft jellies and mini bunnies. So. <laughs> I can Damn. whip up the candy board on the earlier side. It's almost nine o'clock. They're coming at one. I think I just need to get ready. I have my mom's presents right there. My mom's birthday is tomorrow, April 1st. Ah. So <laughs> I see her tomorrow day. too. So I'm going to see if she wants this today or tomorrow. Oh, God. All that can't... Uh, all right, whatever. Peeps, you gotta, you can't take out. You gotta eat them pretty quick. They get stale. Okay. Damn. Happy. At least she didn't block her cabinets. I hate when she does that. But still, are people gonna be able to go out? Well, that's BQ right there. Isn't it? Yeah, that's BQ. VQ. That's VQ. 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 <laughs> It's a pretty cake. Looks good. I love sprinkles. I hope her counter's clean. <laughs> That's cute. Where are you going to put the candles? That's not a huge cake either, so... Okay, I just did my makeup for today. I even did a little baby wing and some lashes. Yara's in the shower right behind that wall. And then I crimped my hair. Mm -hmm. I really need to get my roots done. I think Same. it's been, I feel like it's only been like a month and a half. I don't know. I do feel like my hair has been growing really fast. Okay, right. it's probably Honestly, the Honestly, since starting to take prenatals like two years ago. Um, but here is the dress. I've had it hidden yeah. here. 
um, <laughs> trying not to vlog it for like over a month. Um, it was the last one they had in the XXL and it's, it's XXL so now. pretty. It's from Ivy City Co. I've got their dresses before, but yes. I bought it like the second I saw it because I was looking for like gender reveal yeah. dresses and this was my favorite. It's like smocked at the top. Got like tears. God, please let her wear a bra. It's pink and blue. So it's just very fitting, of course. Yeah, okay. Yay. Um, but yeah, it's already like 12.15. So I took Holy my time shit. doing my makeup. I was talking to Lily. So I got to do my dress and jewelry. And then I got to go put the mac and cheese in the oven. You mm. don't even know what you're in for today. Bruni. You're about to have a very Hi, good day Bruni. with lots of people that you love. We got to put on your says, Easter shirt. Oh, okay, guys, nice. here is the dress. Oh. Okay, good. She wore a bra. On. I have my slippers on. Okay. It's fine. Um, but I love it. It's so cute. No, it's pretty. So just I like it. Super ringy. And it's like super duper stretchy and comfy. Yeah, it does. And then look I comfy. bought two necklaces from Arula because they were buy one, get one 50% off. This was only 20 bucks. And it's got like the little. What is it? Clovers is it on it. Cloves. Clovers. Cloves. <laughs> Big neck friendly. And then I'm wearing Miranda Fry. Miranda Fry, a little huggy with the heart. Miranda Fry. I'll link. Everything. Whew, I'm out of breath. The oven is preheating for the mac and cheese. I bought the frozen kind. Uh, I had Yara pick it up. Uh, it's so uh, good. I'm going to add like, so a easy to, to it myself. Jazz it up. And you guys know I love to make some sort of like mocktail for these kind of things. They're just so fun. So I had him pick up stuff for that yesterday as well. So let's make a fun little mocktail. It's 12.36 and people will be here at 1. So these are the frozen mac and cheeses. Cheater. These are fire. If you ever need a little cheat mac and cheese. Got it's easy enough to make, guys. trusty drink make dispenser. A is there a word for this? Put Pitcher? the cheese in, no. mix the macaroni, pop it in the oven, no. done. Now I'm going to take every last bit of ice I have in the freezer. All right, that's, that's a good amount of ice. Go freezer. Really? Okay, so I got a plethora of things here, and I didn't know how much so she's just gonna pour a bunch of shit in there. Kind of okay. But I'm gonna do some sort of like citrus, lemonade vibe. Okay. So first I got this less sugar lemonade. Organic, it's healthy. All right, there's our base. And I've always wanted to try these, these Italian sodas. I always see them at the store. Blood orange and tropical blend. I'm gonna do half Should and half. And then just it if first. it's too sweet, I'll try it with that first. And if it's too sweet to mellow it out, I have like lemon and citrus sparkling waters okay. that's my little tip if it ends up like getting too i would test sweet. those first and then it will also add like more bubbles oh it's so pretty i have a feeling this is actually going to be like a good amount also the oven is preheated nobody's gonna know they're gonna know a few moments later okay i apologize i just got so sidetracked i ended up making like a little crust for the mac and cheese and then throwing it in the oven and i ended up putting both of the Italian sodas, this whole thing of lemonade, and about two thirds of this one. And it tastes perfect. I also added lemon and mint, kind of just that looks to make good. It pretty, but it'll infuse over time. So it looks it good. Tastes delicious. Yep. I tried a little bit. Wow. <gasps> Look at oh, your dress. Oh, oh. Go, boy. Look at your oh. cute shirt. So beautiful. The moment we've been waiting oh, for. Max is team boy. <laughs> Mimi is team boy. Team. Oh boy, guys. Are you at the edge of your seats? Girl? Yeah. She switched over from girl to boy. This is me. I can't decide. I think it's a baby. <laughs> Grandma, team girl. girl. Okay. Team girl. Uh, cha -cha. Oh, ciao. Thank girl. you. Cha -cha. Team boy. <laughs> team I'm girl. Official I'm boy. I'm official team boy. boy. All right. So here are my horrible cake pops. Made with love. Yeah, we got oh, I can't wait. Jan told me. Thanks, baby. But you are boy. I am a boy. Would you put it on a... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's definitely not. <laughs> yes, yeah, see? These are my uh, gender reveal Ooh. cake pops. So one at a time, I'm going to have you guys all take a bite. One of you lucky people will get the one oh. with the color. Oh. I don't know who's going to get it, but hopefully... Uh, so, so don't put the whole thing in your mouth. Nope, just bite, bite it. it. Just, yeah, it falls off. Just, uh, it's not great. <laughs> Just hold the ball part. Oh, good. I made it. Oh, good. I hope it's not that one. That would be hilarious. Uh, <laughs> wing it. It'll be the color on the inside of it. Oh, 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 no. Grandma. No. 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 <laughs> no. Do they taste good? Mm. Mm. Oh, they are good. Right. They're really good. good. No. no? 
No. No. Wow, what are the chances? No. 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 <laughs> Jenny, where's Yar? It's only two left. Oh, maybe Yar's. <laughs> Is it a boy? That's great. It's a boy. Aww. I like boys. <laughs> I wonder what she's going to name him. Mimi is cutting the ham. Got broccoli casserole, my mac and cheese, taters, rolls, butter. And they didn't eat the cake pops. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mimi, Grandma. Happy birthday to you. So pretty. Six and a half hours later. All right, you guys. Whew. It's 8.20. Um, my family left. She looks pretty tired. I think around five or six. And Yara and I have just been like cleaning up, hanging out. Okay. Um, we heated up some of the food from earlier, but today it was so much fun. I don't think I vlogged like a ton, so I apologize but I know I needed to vlog <laughs> the uh, reveal. So okay. my aunt screaming, my aunt getting the cake pop was honestly so perfect. Um, that was so much fun. I was so curious who was gonna get it. And she was the one that changed her sticker from girl to boy, which makes it extra funny. Because so a the... long time ago, she wanted to try doing the ring over my belly. And it actually was like girl. Um, and then when Yar did it, it was boy. So I thought that was really funny. So I don't know. I don't think any of those old wives tales are like, you know, obviously that that accurate. But overall, super fun day. Yay! She's gonna so wash her face with no water. Yay! I literally, I text Mimi like every day because she has her little iPad, and she talks to all of us like That's via cute. text all the time. And I just kept almost letting it slip to her. Like, you're allowed with grandmas. And it feels so good to not have this as a secret from you guys either. Also, I saw some people wondering how we found out the gender so early since I'm 14 Blood weeks. Pest. So I don't know if this is like a normal thing everywhere. No, I've never heard of it. At this point, I know a lot of people have to wait to find out the sex when they do it on the sonogram. But well, or an amniocentesis. I don't know if they even do those anymore. They used to, that was the only way to truly get the gender back in the day when I was having kids, because they, they actually count the chromosomes, but... Um, At 10 weeks, I had to go in and get a ton I of didn't blood get it drawn done. for checking checking a bunch of stuff. Genetic screenings and things. I well, can't remember the word, I'm sorry. But through that, they also checked. So it's interesting, because uh, like, I don't know what would happen. So I knew that... This is very personal, but... If I had chosen, because the older goob had a very increased chance of being Down syndrome, right? So they wanted to do an amniocentesis to confirm. Now, um, I was afraid because it's this huge needle in your belly and you could spontaneously abort. And that just wasn't where I was at. So I'm like, okay, um, if if he's got Down syndrome, he's got Down syndrome. I mean, what was I going to do? Even no, I mean, it's nice to know ahead of time so you can plan. But, you know, I kind of got in a little disagreement with the doctor because he was more like, well, maybe you'd terminate. Yeah, for me personally, that wasn't going to happen. So I'm just curious on what would happen if there were problems. I, I don't know. Thank God there's um, not. The gender. And then we also did... Um... A carrier screening and we had totally forgotten that we worked with Invitae <laughs> years ago before we were trying um, to see what we were carriers of okay. and of course the results came back the same a total brain fart but yeah that's what is how she a we were able to of? find out the gender so early we do have like a funny story of <laughs> finding out it didn't go as planned. So I'll share that with Yar another day. Maybe he and I can do like a sit down chit chat Q&A. We Gotta also keep posted the uh, a different <laughs> gender reveal um, with Bruno over on Instagram. If you guys want to check that out. Since yeah, being Bruno on vacation cares. last week, I have a couple 
water. episodes Where's the water? of my shows to watch. So I am very much looking forward to crawling in bed and watching <laughs> 90 Day Fiance. I, I skipped, on, uh, just so you know, t -shirt. I, I skipped the part of Batch Bachelorette. I've never watched it. Um, I'm sure you guys, you know, if you saw her straight video, you can hear all about it, but I'm not about that. Sorry. And I'm gonna go curl up. I'm gonna go curl up. But I love you guys so much. It's a boy. <laughs> I was so sure it was a girl. And it was such an exciting shock that it was a boy. I'll tell you guys about that story another time. Um, I but, wanted yeah. girls. Baby boy coming. Boys are good. At the end of September. So Healthies, all that cares. All that guys matters. In Does a few it? days. And let me know what other pregnancy content you have for requests. And I'm glad that you guys are loving the pregnancy content because. I'm loving it. <laughs> so it means yes. a lot that you guys are. She will get. Here what for. do you What do you think? Sponsorships with Johnson and Johnson, uh, draft. I wonder who she's going to get. She's probably going to get some big sponsors. I don't know. We'll see. Eternity right close. So thank you. All right. Bye, guys. Okay. So, let's see. Um, by the way, if these tabs have something to do with uh, my other video, uh, my other channel. Uh. I already guessed it when I saw the intro as it was all blue. Congrats. Her her intro always looks like that, though. So happy for you guys. Being a boy mom is so fun. The relationship between boys and their mama is something so special. Uh, okay. I don't know. I don't see it like that. Um... I mean, either way, boy mom, girl mom, you're busy, okay? Especially when they're in the sports area or I guess, you know, whatever, dance, whatever activity they choose, um, prepare to have no weekends. And your only friends are going to be other parents. <laughs> yeah, everybody's like, oh, I teared up. Okay. All right, well, there's really nothing too interesting here. Everybody's congratulating her. I mean... Honestly, guys, what are you going to do? You can't be negative at this time. You know, this was a cute video. What can I say? All right, guys. Well, we did it. Uh, the wait is over. Alex had a boy. Or is having a boy, excuse me. Good for her. Uh, anyways, guys, uh, don't forget to check out my other video. I think you should like it. And also an Anna O'Brien video will be coming out shortly about her 5K run. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Anyways, thank you so much for clicking on this video and stopping by. And I hope to see you on the next one. Bye!